in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit you Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in. I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I touched something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people, speaking with no results. And then I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily. Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry. Spiritually, numerically and otherwise. I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they touched someone and he fell down. Why do you need spiritual power? I will tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time and I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people there are doors that will never open until power opens them when Moses went to Pharaoh there was very little conversation when the conversations were done it was an encounter of power are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me, but he transferred power. Never spoke one word, but something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light. And understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. 
Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit power. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets. My personal spiritual journey. I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation, you will encounter power. Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. It was an encounter with power. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. And he says, from now henceforth, your name is changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God. You have contended with God and a time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation. Lord, I need your power and your glory in my life. There are gates. Many of us come from all kinds of regions. Hear me. Your personal salvation does not deliver your territory. The gates are still there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are giants on every mountain. The Bible says, how terrible art thou in your works. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying. And doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then. One time. While they gathered with the brethren. And they were angry at the situation. He said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out. He saw a dark cloud. And he said this is the cloud. That makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, it is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now. It takes power to change an SS genotype to an AA. It takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed. It takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant. It takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power. I made up my mind that I have no ministry if I cannot demonstrate its validity. Three keys very quickly. And then we are going to pray. The first secret the Lord taught me. Before we talk on the keys, let me just give us a little preamble. First John chapter 5 verse 9. Help us media. First John 5 verse 19. Very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there. First John 5 verse 19. Can we read it together? It's projected. One, two, read. Can you read it louder? One, two, read. Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lie in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world 
lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman. For as long as you arrive here safely, from birth until you transit, there is a potential for disaster. It takes power to reign. It says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. Pastors, hear me. If your ministry must move from where it is, you can have all the connection in the world. It takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self spirit soul and body you have laid down your will i see so many people who want power but they still own their wills let me tell you something if it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life your will must die your personal will your ambition you must be willing to lay it aside if you want power with god you cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. You must die to your agenda. Are you getting blessed? Spiritual power is not a gift. Make no mistakes about it. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Consecration. The price of yieldedness. The centurion when Jesus came, he made a statement. He said, for I am a man under authority. And on the strength of my submission to an authority, I can tell one go and he will go. I can tell one come. And Jesus looked at him. A Roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom. Forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive. You want to run your life by your own terms, by your own way. So many pastors are doing their ministry, their church. So many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes God's own. Forget about power, dedication, consecration. I'll never forget one time when I was praying. It was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal concern. I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God, lay down. I stood naked from head to toe and I said, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act, my spirit, my soul and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My entire life is around the circumference of his will. You want to see the power of God upon your life. You must come to a point where you die to your will. Do not think God will give you power to do your thing. No. It will have to be at his terms. That's what was happening to Jacob. He touched his tie and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. 
Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. You gave your everything. I give my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. This is the key. This is what I did with my life. Lord, take everything. Take my ambition. Take my destiny. Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely that every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own. This song that we sing, they all belong to you. Even the air that we breathe. It all belongs to you, belongs to you, belongs to you. That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selma. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part. But it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil. Looking for anybody that is anointed. And they kneel down with their carnality and flesh. You can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil. You will only get up littered with oil. But you will not touch power with God. You want power with God. The first secret is surrender. I'm not talking of born again. I'm talking of him taking everything. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church, but he was still crying for intimacy. Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. 
He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. He says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine but all of that is limited to the power that works within us light and illumination when light breaks open over your spirit please hear me when illumination breaks open authority is given to you in the spirit one time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door. Giant gate. And when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me. And I looked at it closely. And I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors. And on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing. And every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it. And then the Lord began to reveal to me that this is what happens when people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth, the light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet, no matter how you pretend it. Illumination. Illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion. I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, he says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light. There is something when a pastor knows, increase becomes unlimited. There is something when a man of God knows, his life becomes a mystery. Every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him. The Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come. Not when you are tired of sitting. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry it starts attracting a kind of people first it will attract gentiles kings will not come yet kings don't come to your life they come to the brightness so there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people but as the light keeps getting brighter it will begin to compel certain kinds of people light illumination I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. He says, call unto me 
And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me and I will answer. He says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back, they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit. Weightier dimensions of illumination that can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were open. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries. This ministry, by the grace of God, is revolving around mysteries. Spiritual mysteries. A mystery is a hidden code of operation. It's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation. And it says it has been given unto you to know. There is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. The third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan, come to me. And does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen. While he was about to be stoned. The Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power. To a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time. The condition to be a worker in the welfare department. Is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. To serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend with. That you pray to a point where you become full of the spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the spirit. The Bible says do not be drunk with wine. Wherein in excess. It says but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled. 
naturally certain things will start you will start speaking not by your mental asset you are speaking as a response because when when you are full of anything whatever spirit or agency fills you up begins to live out its nature through you manifesting its characteristics through you that's how people become superhuman they are full of the holy ghost to a point that they become puppets their voice is the voice of the spirit their hands have become the hands of the holy ghost so when they tell you god bless you they speak on the strength of the agency the only way to communicate being full of the holy spirit is being drunk when a man drinks to stupor there is a level to which he drinks and that that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness at that point he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol when you become full of the holy spirit then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not let me tell you something the correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy you don't just stand up and start saying in jesus name gates open no there is a dimension you stretch in the spirit it's like an escape velocity when you get there the spirit of prophecy comes upon you and you begin to make decrees and i trust god that we'll get to that dimension tonight that is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were that is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the holy spirit but when that power is at work in your life it begins to activate possibilities brothers and sisters hear me it takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise the gates will not open. Tonight, hear me. You are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray. The devil must give up on you. You must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life. You must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go. You must pray. There is a way you can pray yourself to victory. It's like a flight in the spirit. You keep praying. When the flesh is tired, you say, no way. When you keep ascending, you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality. Brothers and sisters, you will never come back again. It's an escape velocity in the spirit. And then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening. Don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy. Tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny. We are kings and priests. We will take on the priestly role first. We will stretch in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any man afflicted? let him pray not let him discuss not let him complain is any man challenged by gates are there doors that have refused to open let him pray is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open pray your way to victory terminal diseases it's because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh. When you generate power in the spirit, when you generate fire in the spirit, it burns every chaff. Does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life? Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. 
let me repeat it anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power you can pray your way to victory in the spirit you can pray your way to favor and breakthrough you can pray your way and smash those doors he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes prayer when the apostles were caught and james was beheaded it pleased herod the people were happy and they bound peter they were about to kill peter and the church said no way and they began to pray prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs when you pray you authorize heaven when you pray you activate the ministry of angels when you pray you begin the work of creation creation did not stop on the seventh day god only rested those who can access the power and the light tonight i want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life some of us are like a battery we have gone down spiritually you must pray yourself to fullness there are so many men of god who do not pray and they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics let me tell you something nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer when a man is not a prayer man it shows there is there is a touch of eternity upon you when you're a man of prayer for elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city he did not use a discussion with ahab prayer he locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket he said that gate will not be open except at my word tonight you can pray yourself to victory inside and outside and all around there are families that have come tonight people have traveled from far and near it's time to pray yourself to victory pray yourself to victory until you are full of the holy ghost the key of consecration the key of illumination the key of prayer being full of the holy ghost you become a bank of spiritual power hear me let me say this especially this seems to work only for men of god it may not be applicable for other people but let me give pastors a secret the day power comes to your life poverty has died forever i guarantee you i the day power comes upon your life genuine spiritual power not nonsense that people are doing around the day power comes you have gotten something that is worth it i was teaching the school of ministry students and i told them that if not for anything when you find the anointing you have found what is more than gold we trivialize the anointing hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference oh god you are my god early like we are doing will i seek you my soul thirst for you i want to see your power and your glory hallelujah praise the lord Media, do you have this in the trim audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray do you have it are you ready with it okay so quickly everyone is going to participate we are going to pray it takes prayer it takes prayer everyone say it takes prayer to command victories say it takes prayer that's what a vigil is a vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and and 
banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil, Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen, the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people. But whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open. And there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen. There are gates. But tonight, ministries and destinies will rise to a new level. Please, I'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit. Prepare your spirit. Rise up, everybody. Inside and outside, please rise up. The first prayer point is a cry for grace. Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors Open up the gates Open up the doors Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name we can also call upon your name. We can also call and call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. 
it belongs to you pray total surrender Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio. While that is happening, until it finishes, is a guide. The moment it starts, we are stretching in the spirit. No sleeping. Anyone who is sleeping, hold his hands and walk around with them. No sleeping. Praise the Lord. Because this is about your destiny. Outside, make sure you participate. Whatever you do, be ready to stretch it in the spirit. And I want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit. Where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your effort. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. up your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read.
One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my horn. It says, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Listen. The Lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that. This is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs I saw this when I was praying in a vision and that's why I'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just dab your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of jesus christ can you open them for me? this is ordinary oil but by the power of the holy spirit i declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen tonight is a night of encounter with power hallelujah it's a night of encounter with power father I lay my hands upon this in a name that is above all names may they become conduits of your power may they become instruments of power as this comes upon the heads of many in the name of jesus christ i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs supernatural freshness supernatural grace by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice and begin to pray and say Lord as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you praying as this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. There's gotta be more than me.
Hallelujah. Now listen. Please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Shabbat about to just tap it, lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues. Go ahead, everybody. You can put it on your hands if you want to, but go ahead, quickly, quickly. Just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing. Make decrees. Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they, do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead. Please pray. Speak to me, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Where is the man that was here kneeling with the child? Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family that came here. A family that came here. I think this, this has to do with sickness. This is a family. Is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity? Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you. I don't know if this is your first time coming here. But the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me, the atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy. 
please make your way to the front the Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace quickly quickly please where is that person this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression an attack is not just on your baby this thing you are the one who really needs to be free not even the baby you get the point but you have calm down now madam let me talk to you i'm seeing you in the spirit there's no mic okay that's all right i'm looking at this madam in the spirit and i'm seeing you fatter than this I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. It's what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? you believe that where do you walk are you walking where sterling bank it won't be too long god is going to take you from that place you know this now you have been preparing towards yes no, not true uh, because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a referee like a you know when it's almost time in a football match this is what i'm seeing your time there is almost up and god is going to lift you i prophesy it in the name of jesus christ and i'm declaring that let this happen in the name of jesus christ there is need to pray for your child um, i'm looking at this child and i'm seeing something like symptoms of fever temperature we have to pray for him father in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit everything that is not of god upon this child i take authority over it in jesus name madam the lord says i should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor please i want you to believe me i don't just talk if god has not told me anything do you believe father bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of jesus christ why am i seeing memuna on your head are you memuna that's your name come you too you are memuna. i'm seeing a name written on her head and i'm seeing memuna is that your name or is the name of someone?
and I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? Two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick, but then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Eh? Be prayerful. There are some things I cannot show here, but you see, let me speak in parables. You cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me. Are you getting what I'm saying? You cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me. It's very important. Be prayerful and he's either Lord of all. He cannot share his glory with any other thing. You get what I'm saying, madam? The Lord is going to lift you and take you. Please, I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them. This is your child. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. There are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen 
I want you to know that Jesus heals here. We have a track record by the grace and the mercies of God. I'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically. Please make your way to the front. Just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost water to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son. This boy is standing. It's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her. So they went to consult with somebody. Huh? They went to consult with somebody. This person is like a herbalist. And he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam. He got it wrong because his understanding is limited. It's not like the boy wants to kill her. But the spirit at work in him is what is tying her. Both of them. This is the spirit of death. She would have died on the 22nd of this month. 22nd would have buried her. It would have been over. She would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God. Voice and say, Our God is greater, hey. our God is stronger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this Who speaks out now? Mama? Berta? Leave her. Here, Kiberta. Berta, Fadiba. She looks like a fuller human. She understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we're done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him
worship you, Jesus. Celebrate you, Jesus. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most high You. Father, we love you. Oh, Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we're here to let you know. You are the most I God. Join me, say, Father. Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, oh. you are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Say to the Lord, you are the most high God. Father, we wait on you. Oh, you are the most high God. We wait on you, Jesus. We wait on you, Jesus. You are the most high God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship. You are the most high God. Jesus, Father, we reverence you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you, Jesus. Here to let you know. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus, with the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Come and pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified in us. We worship you.
without you now say I'm lost without you I'm lost without I'm you I'm lost without you let the rain of your presence fall say I'm lost without you cover us with your grace Jesus <laughs> say I'm lost without you let the rain of your presence Oh God, I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your hands, oh God. I'm lost without you. Break every chance, say, break every 
Break every chain. 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 Come on, say, break every chain. Break every chain. Every chain. Every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every Say break every chain. Say. Oh. Break every chain. Break every chain.
we give you all the glory and the honor and the praise and love to you. With the lifting up of our hands to you, so we worship. With our hearts open wide to you, oh, we worship. Hallelujah to your name. Some join me and say, You have a wonderful Say hallelujah as the highest prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The chorus said, Hold you Just leave him there. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we're done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside?
I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and needs and needs to come, I will sing before His throne Your holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy. Hallelujah, mighty one. Psalm 66, verse 3, please. Our last prayer session. We're going to be praying. And we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people, into their promised land. When the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, all right, let, we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race, the women and the children. Let the men go because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We are going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we are going to pray. The Bible says, Now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things. All things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploits, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those bots, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well. You are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I come against every power. That attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus. I declare a release. Of every other area of my life. That is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Rapakato proso so predegede bela de bosh. Embrata kata balata poko soto pregete. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, 
you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit we ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies are you praying Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still praying. When Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, watch this. As they released them while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says, the Egyptians you see today, oh, you may have seen them for 430 years, but today, the Egyptians you see today, he says that you would not see them and then he said Moses verse 15 now Moses was crying before God and he said why will you cry tell the people to move forward make advancement listen this prayer we are going to pray is important because many of us this prayer will supply courage hear me it's time to move forward it's time to move forward in business it's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you have fallen again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you. They follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there. Where you fell is where you will rise and excel. The anointing is still there. Lift your voice and prophesy. I'm moving forward. Go ahead and pray. Pray. In my ministry, I'm moving forward. I refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me. Inside and outside, I'm moving forward in every area of my life. You wanted to start a building project. A challenge came and you have refused to move forward. You tried to get admission. You tried once, twice. It didn't work. Listen. It says, tell the people to move forward. Koinonia, I announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward. Now prophesy. Lord, I'm moving forward. I break those barriers. I refuse to see challenges. That project is doable. The project is doable. The marriage is doable. Come on, pray now. The ministry can rise. It's achievable. It's achievable. It's achievable. I may have been thrown down once, but it is achievable. There is still an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down. Samson was a mighty man of power. But for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate. God is ministering to some people here. 
you have tasted power and honor but something happened somewhere and brought you down but tonight god is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree you can rise again when they took samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our god he prayed a prayer he prayed a prayer of restoration that lord this one last time let this anointing come upon me and the bible says he pushed he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime can i tell you something you should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person we live in a generation where every time you fail there are so many people coming to prove to you justifying their prophecies are you getting me now you start a business or a company it fails and everybody tells you you see you start a ministry genuinely called by god no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up are you hearing what i'm saying i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep holding on until my change comes i will never forget our first crusade our first crusade in Joss, you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people they were not much we saw miracles we saw mighty things but the people were few we were stranded listen a crusade would happen the crusade was to start by 5 30 as, as at three o'clock the car was still spoiled we we're still on our way going i'll never forget the driver tried and tried and tried we didn't even have enough money we just had enough money to take us there how we were going to survive are you getting what i'm saying listen when you see a successful man don't just celebrate the stories ask the person for the pains and the scars successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open they are not those who do not have challenges are you getting the point now i will never forget that crusade was powerful immediately after the crusade the sound guys were standing 150,000 were to pay them it looks like child's play now but then it meant a lot because even if everybody in the ministry then came together we would not be able to solve it but we knew that god sent us i knew what god had told me a great crusade the first crusade we did not even have we could not rent video cameras i'll never forget the humiliation that i went through from the sound people it was it was such a bitter humiliation those people frustrated my life literally because i could not afford it i'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation she took five thousand and sold it as a seed it was a disaster i would have easily given up and said that's it lord no ministry again imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry if i had given up at that point god is speaking to someone peter tried to catch fish all night nothing happened he would have packed up successful people are those who are audacious don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, 
the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized but no man can deny that this is the finger of God I remember Dr. Paul Enenche 99 right when they went to Abuja him his wife and two pastors were staying in one small room not by will that was all they could afford you would have called them failures do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house you carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room but that's what it's been called today listen I want you to know right now we are going to pray you are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything they may be the voices of good people they may be the voices of sincere people but I come to prove them wrong lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus everyone shout it in the name of Jesus I'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh God lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Go weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. Go weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission, but it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. You may not have connection now. Nobody may recognize your anointing. But keep pressing. Keep pressing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance. Listen, let me tell you. You can ask every one of the ministers here, Barak who ministered, and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha, ask all of them. They will tell you stories and episodes of endurance. Listen, there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving, nothing was happening. Are you getting what I'm saying? Any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you, I'm telling you. There are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed. Are you getting what I'm saying? Nothing like a result is happening. You are planting, bearing precious seeds. But nothing is happening. As a man of God, you know the anointing upon your life. While you are laboring in the spirit, nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it. You can be a great worshiper and for many years, you may be moving around crying for just one open door or the doors may not open. Listen to me. You can be a lady, pretty and virtuous. You've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before god and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served you've even complimented on your degrees submitted cvs let me tell you something. In every man's life, there are seasons of persistence and endurance. I want you to know this. Don't let any man fool you. God is a God of speed, not rush. God does not rush. He brings speed, not rush. There are seasons where you are proven. The 
the Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. There is something called a man's season of appearance. You can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance. Years ago, he may remember, we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna, a very powerful meeting. And when we went there, there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop. There was nothing bishop about him. When you launch yourself without your season of appearance, the man was there and after the meeting, I, I could not even figure one person who came to say, Kai, man of God, you blessed me. The bishop was there moving around, no friend, no car, no nothing. We went to the restaurant, he just sat down somewhere and was just taking his powerhouse. Nobody was even encouraging him. And I said in my mind, Lord, if this is how it means to be a bishop, I don't want. This honor, when God blesses you, he brings honor with it. When you launch yourself, you will keep floating, looking for relevance. I'm speaking to many of us here. We are at the verge of breakthroughs. Keep holding on. There are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. If a baby, we have a few babies around here. If a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk, that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk. If an old man starves himself to die, he will not suddenly become young because there was no food. Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen, you may be a man of God, anointed. It is true that God has spoken to you about ministry. But for now, all you will be doing is cleaning tables. Be faithful. You must receive grace for endurance. Because let me tell you, hope defers makes the heart weary. The heart of man is is, is very fragile. The moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results, naturally speaking, naturally speaking, fatigue will come in. You're going to lift your voice. Are you still tired? We're rounding up. This is a very important prayer point. Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace for endurance. I receive grace for persistence. I receive grace for resilience. I will wait. I will be patient until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience, oh God. If you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray. Lekata baka rebodosh, ombra bata kata lebosh, lekata kata bara lebosh, lekata prosko soto prosh, embroto skopite hich. Rataka bara bara lebosh, lekata bara bara lebosh, embrata kata leboko sobosh, rakata tete, embroto kosoto prosh, lekata tete boro boro lebosh. Persistence. Persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day suddenly an angel appears to her listen appears to her with a prophetic message thou art highly favored blessed are you among women and she wondered what salutation this was and the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby and she said how shall these things be i know not a man just like god is telling you the same you who is standing one day you will own your television station and the world will be watching you and you look around and say how shall these things be 
and he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you watch this the moment God told Mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to Elizabeth somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision you will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you there must be people around your life that can identify no matter how mystical the instructions are there must be somebody around your life that can say although this looks strange i see that the hand of god is upon it loneliness in destiny has killed many people they are carrying visions they they have no other shoulder to lean on and mary went to elizabeth every other woman would have said you are very stupid tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant but she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time so she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the bible says as soon as elizabeth mary and elizabeth saw the babies the destinies in their wombs leapt you need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million naira project is doable how much do you have 10 naira say yes i was once like that you need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of god dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what i'm saying that you come and say my sister i want to share with you something don't be afraid though say what is it say do you know i don't have a womb and the lady will not say ah what is all that say abba your case is a simple case there was a woman like that it's not just that she didn't have a womb in fact her own was a, a bad case but she had twins you see that that's elizabeth you need to call for elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of god but there are no motivators there are no people to tell you it is doable who said you can't start a bank everybody say bank what nonsense are you talking about somebody tells you you can do it you can do it you can start the bank you pray them into your life are you getting me there are ladies right now this is august but you heard from god genuinely and you are trusting god to be settled by december you, if you meet a wrong person the person will look at you and say i have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeth we call for the elizabeth we call for the elizabeth men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion
Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. As I prophesy to us, please, I want you to receive it. Receive it with all your heart and receive it with a loud shout of amen. The Lord gave me a revelation on the creative power of prophecy. And we've had all kinds of humbling testimonies. He said, son of man, can these bones live? And he said, only down the west. Then he said, prophesy. Speak to these bones. Speak to these situations. As far as I am concerned, there is nothing called impossible. Not when God steps in. It is impossible when there are men, but not when God steps in. I pray for you right now. In the name that is above all names. That every door that before now has been closed over your life and your destiny. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Return to find that door open now. I prophesy it upon you. Return to find that door open. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life where your strength is limited you have done everything you know to do i'm declaring upon you right now let a fresh anointing take you through the remaining part of the journey in the name of jesus christ where your human strength has stopped may an anointing come and pick you up in the name of jesus christ when jesus was about to start his ministry a voice spoke no matter how anointed you are, it will take somebody to announce you. Please listen, I show you a mystery. No matter how anointed you are, a midwife, although she's a midwife, she won't deliver a baby by herself. When it is time for her to deliver, she will need other midwives. No man can bless himself. No man can endorse himself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A voice had to be spoke, had to speak from heaven and said this is my beloved son and he commanded the world to hear him lift your hands let me speak over your destiny your destiny remains grounded until a voice can speak in the realm of the spirit a simple prophetic word but it's a profound law i'm praying for you right now by the anointing of the holy spirit everything that has covered your glory everything that has covered your your gift and your potential from being seen desired and celebrated I speak right now it's your time for celebration I speak right now it's your time for celebration I speak it to you right now it's your time for recognition it's time for your gift to be noted it's time for men to pay attention to what you carry in the name of Jesus Christ this is the spirit of delay. I'm seeing delay written in the atmosphere. Delay. Delay. I'm going to begin to pray. Listen, there are people whose lives and destinies have been held bound by the spirit of delay. By the spirit of delay. No matter where you are, inside or outside, it's like a force an energy of the spirit I want to help those people outside here lift your hands just keep your hands lifted inside and outside just lift your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you and as I stretch my hands towards you and begin to speak it's like fire the power of God will begin to come upon such people. Those who are outside, you can stretch your hands just over your, your various projectors. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that spirit, I speak to you in the realm of the spirit. You have held the destinies of men and women. You have held the destinies of families. But the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob will possess their possession therefore I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus 
and I speak every spirit of delay right now right now right now I stretch my hands by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I stretch it right now bring them out say yeah of multiplied grace I stretch my hands the angels of the, of the Lord are moving row to row row to row row to row it will get to your turn inside and outside row to row if that's not your situation it will not affect you but you will never stand the power of God if this is one of the reasons God brought you here right now I stretch my hand outside lift your hands the angels of the Lord are moving Lord every row every row I keep my hands stretched that devil of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave the second overflow God is touching people there the second overflow like fire is coming upon people the second overflow that spirit of delay your time is up tonight your time is up tonight maka para to sotosh embrekete leko sheketa there's a lady wearing white hair tie the anointing of the spirit is causing that delay that delay right now that delay right now right now right now right now it's a spell it's like a charm I'm seeing it on the heads of people I command that spell that charm of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave I tell you no spirit will stand the power of God tonight no you must let them go in the name of the Lord Jesus I come against you I come against you I come against you. Delay is a dangerous thing. It traps your life so that when you ought to move and make significant progress, it will hold you bound. There are many lives and destinies that are tied down families please lift your hands the Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families pay attention to what I'm saying because the power of God will move in a mighty way there are families here hear me you love God, but you do not know what is at the root of the tragedies of the families. There are spirits, there are covenants, there are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound. It may not even be your fault. You are inheriting the wickedness of men. But tonight, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you I want to pray for you I want to pray for you as I speak over your life again the Lord is going to be ministering to families it may not have anything to do with you as a person some of you you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. Inside the first overflow, the second overflow across the road, every family that is under the influence 
of any satanic manipulation lord you will not only identify them they must be free at the count of three i want you to shout i am free are you ready now one two three altars 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 i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven i call you by your name altars in benway state altars in koki state altars in katuna state altars in the west altars in the east my goodness shekete koto kete rekete tekete rekete kota every local government every state i set fire on those altars fire 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 on those altars fire on those altars every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee i send the word of judgment i send the word of judgment hallelujah I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening mighty things that are happening hallelujah listen something very strange will start happening here now listen listen to me because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys it just dropped on the ground listen this this is a sign of access in the spirit the lord showed me a vision and i saw in the spirit a bunch of keys now it's not for everybody but i'm about to pray once it comes on you except god did not call me you will see doors open it's called breakthrough lift your head i stand under this apostolic anointing and in the name of jesus every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three receive it receive it take it now 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 i distribute those keys in the spirit i distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant breakthroughs 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 the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies listen those of you outside i want you to hear me because the holy spirit is going to do something now the lord asked me to come out hallelujah hallelujah now i want count three my goodness there is such anointing in this place and i see the angels lord the moment you count three i'm going to start moving across this crowd and the power of god will start falling on people whatever has locked your destiny it must open it right now are you ready now those outside 
please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your row as i pass your row you will stand it as i pass your row an anointing an anointing take it 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 now i stretch my hands take it take it this side receive it take it now 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 i stretch my hands take it now take it now everyone in this row receive it right now receive it right now take it now all those here there is an angel of the lord standing on your row take it now take it now take it now take it now just allow me pass your row as i'm coming there are angels walking with me as i'm coming the power of god will touch you right now i stretch my hands here everyone here right now take it now take it right now take it right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you call this man come this big man come what's your name come now let's hurry up what's your name the lord is saying what's your name daniel daniel from where from edo state sir. from edo state i mean are you in zaria you are in zaria i want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night are you hearing what i'm saying as you celebrate them you connect to their prophecy listen because i'm seeing you in a cage this is what i see i've not started prophesying yet but i'm seeing you in a cage and i'm seeing you telling the lord i know that if i come here my situation will change in the name that is above all names i lay my hands upon you and i end that captivity right now take it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ who is grace there's someone grace around here who is grace i'm hearing that the lord is showing me someone grace who is grace please come quickly let's save time come where is your mother Zango. Is she sick? My sister is sick. Don't worry, is your mother sick? She doesn't even know she's sick, but she's sick. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going to your house and healing two people your mother and your sister. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your mother and your sister. What do you do? You're a student. What do you do? Huh? Applicant. Job applicant. Do you believe that if I pray for you, the Lord will give you a job? Will you come and testify before God's people? I lay my hands upon you and I release that job for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this road down like this, there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain. Because I'm seeing like the angel of the Lord is doing something. I stretch my hands right now. Whoever they are, the power of God is coming upon them right now. Right now, right now right now in the name of jesus christ that pain that abdominal pain must go it must go right now in the mighty name of jesus christ let me try to walk to the first overflow in the name of jesus christ look at me you will start experiencing the power of god in your life in a very strange way are you hearing what i'm saying i lay my hands upon you right now step into a new season i want to pray for this overflow there are so many people please believe god don't think i've come outside because i want to identify with you so you don't think you are at a disadvantage no distance is no barrier some of you are enduring cold it's touching my heart talk more of the heart of god are you hearing what i'm saying and some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come so just watch it you are just receiving miracles there is an impartation joseph who is joseph here yeah. If I'm hearing a name Joseph you are wearing like a collar like for cold who is that 
you are Joseph. The Lord is going to do mighty things through you. Stand up, there's cold, so you don't enjoy yourself. Are you hearing me? I want to stay true with God and watch God do great things in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing two old women. They are sitting on the same seat. Where are they? Here, this row. Two mama like this. Where are they? Is there some... Who is that? The Lord is asking me to talk to them. Just leave them. Mama, do I know you? Have we seen before? I'm looking at you. Can, can they? If they cannot hear, we can speak any language. Can I talk to you, Mama? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. When I, don't be afraid. I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. And the Lord is saying, if we don't pray for you, that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car. It's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing. But the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. The second thing is there's no finances at all. Everything flat. Is that true? Is that true in your life? Is what the, why you came? Where is your daughter? Do you have a daughter? Huh? I'm seeing a lady close to you. Like a, a, I don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not. Because I'm seeing the Lord is saying that he wants to bless her with marriage. You are the one? Okay, you are the one standing close to her. Are you ready to marry? Because God is going to surprise you. Do you believe that? Huh? Say I receive. I receive. I receive. You are not, you are, you are trying to be a lady, but my dear, prophecy, you a madman like this. I'm only responding to God. Just out and see what the anointing does. Shout, I receive as loud as I receive. Jesus Christ, I break that curse over your head. Mama, you will not die. All of you here, stretch your hands to her and say, Mama will not die. Take her as your mother. Pray for her. Mama will not die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking at this other mama. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. But there are three things I see the devil want to do. Number one, eyes. Ah. Huh? But two, I'm seeing her inside a coffin. They have already closed it. And there's blood on top of the coffin. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody use her eyes to make money with it. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm not a prophet of doom. Me too like what I'm saying but I cannot but say what God is asking me to say are you here I'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um, but I'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of God is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family and the Lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of God is going to come on one lady right now. It will be like fire. You can't stand it. It will come upon you. Please, when that happens, let me know that lady right now. Not just those inside. I know God is... But this role, this role, Father, wherever that lady is, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Spirit of God that she will be located so that her can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um... Your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy. That's if you translate your name, it has something to do with joy. Joy or joyful or something like that. Do we have someone like that? Please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting. If, if you are that couple with the protocol, who is that? What's that? Uh? Come. What's your name? What I means what? Child of joy. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time. Lay hands on you. And I want that if you go back and see your mom, just ask her to allow you. hands upon you right now I don't mean their English names are joy what's, what's your name from where all of you your name is joy okay I'm going to name let me talk to you come my dear where 
where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that He's lifting them up by His grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her, please. Help her so that she Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Is that what's your name Favor. but there's nothing favorable in your life and the lord is saying change her story do i know you that your name is favor i want to pray for you do you believe if i pray for you the lord will grant you favor hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i restore favor to you right now i restore favor to you by the power of the holy spirit come my dear this lady yes come hallelujah there is an anointing listen there is an anointing um i promise those of you outside by the grace of god hopefully by next miracle service we'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will it will be very clear for you outside all right i know that the people did their best but you can see that the crowds are increasing praise the lord but there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying, I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Ano? I'm seeing Kano. Come. You are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Huh? Two of you. Husband and wife. Come. Did you tell me you are coming? Come. She's your friend. Who is she? How are you, my dear? You came from Kano. What do you do? I'm see I, I, No, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. Teaching. You are teaching. How about her? Witchcraft is what God is breaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend. I command that chain to leave right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you I declare. You will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God. That's what you need. You have been praying. Boom fast and help him. You fasted that God will give you an anointing. It's not an anointing for ministry. It's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw... I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. 
are you hearing what i'm saying and then number three is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you ah huh? you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of jesus christ all of you here please lift your hands i want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as i pray for you and i count three i want you to shout the name jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow i wanted to leave but god is still speaking to me about this overflow please i want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father i'm doing as you have instructed me and i prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of jesus let the power of god visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of jesus right now help them right now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that, that spirit from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as i pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams i command him go 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of jesus the lady with the black heart tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ before i leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the holy spirit the lord is wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return i stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of jesus there is a spirit i'm dealing with i know what i'm seeing right now right now i judge you by the god of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands a chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus 
I restore your glory. I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, please pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Aha. Aha. You must go. In the name of Jesus, you must go. Go, go, go. Any spirit represented here, you must leave right now. I tell you, any force of darkness tying down your life. Who is this, Mama? Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wait. As I enter here. I hear my pain go, just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you in, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finish university here and this prayer I may wish to oh yeah hold on I have a ministry <laughs> you have a ministry my goodness can you imagine I'm looking at you what is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring the spring, the spring. <laughs> in the name that is above all names mama listen please don't cry the Lord is visiting you because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even her, it's none of her business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like... The father is related to you. He's my elder. Brother. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's gone and, but we're not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba. What the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else. 
the devil is just playing using medicine to play with your mind this is witchcraft they have already buried this person and this issue has finished but in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm declaring and i'm speaking to everyone here i stand under the anointing and i pray for you that every power that is tying down your family it must leave you this night in the name of jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying you will come back and testify before the people of god this thing is being recorded and the second area the second area is hiv such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead jesus. father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of Jesus Christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what I'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreck havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but i tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on go when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him god will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of God. The Lord told me he's wiping your tears. Come, sir. What do you do? 
What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. That's what yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one yes this she's she's not feeling fine something is wrong with her please let her come is god blessing you tonight who brought her please who brought her if you brought her please come with her so that we we'll know what it is What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Oh, you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? You got her pastor Alpha now. Carry mic. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry mic. Because I'm trying to, let's make this easy. Give him mic, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who will lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other mic. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor, tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, ask her question. Ask her question. And she can't She said, Tell her, God will heal her of diabetes. Or draw her to God diabetes. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now, who can heal her? And God is going to heal her. Or draw her to God. How long does she do something? Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Mama, ask, tell her I'm going to pray for her and the power of God will come. Um, me and her will run here now. Tell her to 
I'm going to pray for her and we will not work, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. It's okay. If we do Jesus, in the name of Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who dot down diabetes. Diabetes. From her body. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus. Look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Ah, huh? diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama. Tell her. Tell her. Then you can that. She's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to close her hands. Walk, come. Fast, come. Come, come. Come, come. come. Turn around. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at the miracle here. Look at the miracle. Who are you Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah! Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now. Your, eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This, your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is, is an easy something. This come, the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil, I, the devil wants to destroy this lady. Because if I don't pray for you, they will. I'm seeing your case getting so serious. They will now take you to India for a kidney transplant. What's wrong with you? Kidney nephritis. What does that mean? Yeah, we got inflammation. How do you know it's The doctor told 
told me I cannot lie on both sides of my head. Fact, you can't lie down here? Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil? That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How, and how else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know how? Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our uh, uh, daddy. Yes, sir. Our uh, daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with no. The hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? It's at two. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry, Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know that if 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 you can come for Koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive? Tell somebody Koinonia and see the way demons fight. They are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You're a spiritual man. You should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening. There is a spirit that converts men. It doesn't happen by default. We must attack it in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this our lady? Come. We are going to pray for this kidney. Both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem. So we are going to pray. Lay your hands on it. Please, can we pray for this dear one? Anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us. Don't say it's not yet my issue. Uh -uh. Pray for her. Your prayer is working. There's a surgery the Lord is doing in her. Place your hand on her. I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My goodness, there's such power flowing. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. Stand up. Stand up. What couldn't you do before? Press it. Press it right now.
Look, the lady, see, see, the lady is even surprised. Even her, her and her own body, she's even surprised that something is happening. Her and her own body. I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed. If you are not anointed, you will make a ceremony out of nothing. But when that anointing, it's not about trying to get it done. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. My dear, check it. Honestly, if there's pain, tell us. We will not be afraid. There's... God is touching another lady. Heal her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Fire is coming on a lady's throat. I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I'd like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth, her nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Oshri. Who is that? Protocol department. Where's the person from? Where? Well, there, there. Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy, enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender even in this season. I release that word upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone that came with a sick person, um, 
It's already happening to Pastor Femi. But Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now. Three members who are members of Rema Chapel. That's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him. It's happening to three people. Three people who attend Rema Chapel. Three people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a new season for you. New season for you. New season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Hallelujah. We have five minutes to do this. Five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy. Please make sure we are going to try to finish fast. But make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now all those who came with sick people. Apart from those who have been healed. If you brought somebody sick. Please bring them out quickly. Quickly let's lay hands on them. Give us some question. Please quickly. The Lord is healing people. There's the healing anointing in this place right now. God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this. What is wrong with me if I don't ask you? Just a touch. Even if you are coming here for the first time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of us who are out here. Jesus loves you. That's why he wants to heal you. Please. I want you to receive. You can reject it. But I want you to receive it with all your heart. As I pray for you. You go back. Check yourself. Because of time. We may not have time to share testimony. But hold on please. Let me say something about testimonies. Um, it is. You are robbing God of glory. When God gives you healing and blessings. There are so many people. Who God has been touching. But they never return. To give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her and so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually. Financially, there is an anointing on you as I speak to you. Financially, spiritually. I'm seeing God step even into your marriage. Our mother is crying. Your marriage. This is the reason why you came. Because there's nothing there. God is stepping in to do a miracle for you. To the glory of his name. Miracle for you. Who is this? Your mom. What's wrong with her? She has, she has been sick for three years. And don't, don't even know who was. Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in your lab, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Speed! I prophesy it upon you, never to be the same again. And we pray for healing for Mama. He will testify in the name of Jesus. The anointing is so strong on you. God is bringing restoration in your marriage. God is bringing restoration in your finances. God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life. I command everything the devil has stolen to give way. In the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
I want you to believe will be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle world. Right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh... I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already there. The spleen is an organ that resolves blood just below the ribs on the left side. So after that it's a cancer. It's disturbing me. Cancer. Cancer of what? For now, I'm still there for this hospital, for this uh, shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You're serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that it's cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspiration. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now. And saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus. Cancer. Die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body. We bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus. That this cancer will die. And it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Hosea. So make sure you testify. In the name of Jesus Christ.
I worship forever. I worship forever. I worship forever, Lord. I worship forever. I worship forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're getting into the most important. Please, those outside, can we rise? This is a very prophetic moment. Hallelujah. This is a very, very serious moment. The requests here contain the names of loved ones. I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year. There is, there is need for massive salvation. The Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before. And I told him, I said, Lord, I'm available. So make sure that from now till December, you don't come alone. We, we are on a mission. Not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners. It's serious business. Hallelujah. Please, those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests. Very quickly, we have a few minutes. Now, we're going to do it in this order. The moment, let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time. There are people here. Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you. And he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange. Hallelujah. For instance, let me give you a little preview. Um, the message of Jesus, when he came, his message was just one word, repent. That's all Jesus said, repent. So we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent? Does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem? to repeat after the man of God what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many other calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life Things happen around your life, discouragements, God didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the Lord. Those two categories of people, I'm going to count one to five, please for time's sake.
for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight it's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Shegata pratagada baladabash Mam broto koto poshoto pratagada baladabosh Ragada barato kosoto pratagada baladabosh Shekapa bakata baladabash Shekapa rokoto posh Mante kroto skobara balash Lord we pray for every soul 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 in this place lord save them some of them are not even christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell you have great plans for them they need to experience the love of jesus we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, save our fathers. Save our mothers. Save our brothers. Our classmates. Our colleagues in the office. In the name of Jesus. Our families. No matter how far they are from the cross. Bring them to meetings. Give them encounters. Holy Spirit. We permit your ministry in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to pray over your request. Lay your hands over your request. By faith. And say, Lord, I turn it into a testimony. Go ahead and pray. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. Shake up a barraco to proscopas. Rekete kerebosh. Rakata baranabosh. Lekata kata barato shoto pregele gede benele bosh. Mabra pakata rakoto shoto pregele. Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Manifold testimonies. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation. Wherever they are. In the name that is above all names we authorize these angels to hunt for their souls they will know no peace till they find the cross in the name of jesus christ we release dreams 
we release visions of Jesus we release encounters with the world in the name of Jesus everywhere they turn to they will hear the gospel they will hear it in church they will hear it in class they will hear it everywhere for those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ Lord in the name of Jesus we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of Jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for these requests Lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but Lord as I walk upon them they become testimonies as I walk upon them they become testimonies and Lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now those of you who are making this decision for Jesus Christ I love you from the depth of my heart and I thank you for coming out to accept Jesus Christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire it's an exciting thing because it looks natural but it is supernatural in every way lift your right hand and say this after me I'm just guiding you but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying Jesus said I am the way the truth and I am the life say after me again Lord Jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit I'm a child of God my goodness I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit even just right here in the altar right here I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the Holy Ghost instantly instantly because I see the power of God coming on some of you in the name of Jesus say after me from today I'm a child of God the life of God is in me I will never be the same in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit may you become mighty men and women of the Spirit in the name of Jesus may God do great and mighty things in and through your life I really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the Holy Spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of Jesus Christ may you be established in righteousness in Jesus name I pray may God bless you I'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may God bless you in Jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah God bless you please everyone stand everyone stand I want to speak over your life now and please I want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives I believe in the power of prophecy I believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has proved. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces 
because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, pre I prophesy over your life lift your hands inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I speak against the spirit of limitation that force from hell it allows you to move forward but it will say you will not cross this border in the name that is above all names I come under this anointing this night and I command whatever limit you have seen in your life I break it tonight I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things I don't care what it is in the name that is above all names I command judgment upon those spirits now I command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the Bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep I pray whatever calls you forth and your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of Jesus I attack those enchanters I challenge their enchantment in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry it you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor I'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now I release that favor in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah I pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry 
believe me when I say this I pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed I don't care what it is the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family I supply spirit power and I command it to start moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the Lord tonight I command you to be completed in the name of Jesus I've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help I will listen listen I have seen in my life and I have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters God does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my God in the name of Jesus I don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and February but in the name that is above all names I speak to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east I speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now If there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now I pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of Jesus I expand your spiritual borders and I compel influence in your life in the name of Jesus Christ when you open your mouth to call for help I force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help I declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper I speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me 
Job said, for out of the earth comes bread. I command. The bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth, I call it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the desires of your heart, but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service, that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God. Everything that has brought tears out of your family, I judge it right now. Every career person, listen to me. We are forcing promotion this year. Don't say it cannot happen. You will fool yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look, in the name that is above all names, the mystery of lifting, may it come upon your life. Every student here, your CGPA has ears and I want to speak to it. In the name, you had the testimony of that gentleman. He didn't even complete the testimony. He sent me the text. He was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got. 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Especially for those who are just starting 100 level. You will start with a mysterious GPA that will shock people. I pray for those who have tried and tried. But your academics is just hooking you. You have done all you know to do. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ.